All right, so I told you all that we would show you how to butcher a chicken uh, because I think that butchering chickens is something that everybody should know how to do. It's really nice because a lot of times they'll go on sale for like 69, 79 cents a pound for a whole bird and you're still working at rest for 6.99 a pound. Well, you can do the pretty simple math on that and you can save some money just by having a pretty simple skill. So first we've got two whole chickens. We've got our Ziploc bags. We're gonna put our parts, knife and cutting board. First cut into the meat. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, grab our bird, put it on our board, nice and flat. There are lots of different ways to do this. This is the way that I like to do it. So first things first, we'll make the first cut along the side of our thigh, and then side. on the other thigh, and then take your hands back behind there and kind of pop them out, and then you have a nice flat bird. Again, flat surfaces are easier to work with. So the first now, cut we're gonna make is along the sternum. And you can find the sternum, it's the hard part in between the two breasts up at the top. You take your first two fingers, kind of wiggle them around in there, and then just make a nice even cut all the way along there where the sternum is and the flesh is. So once we have that first cut, you just kind of follow that along all the way down the rib cage. Find everything there. Next we're going to do is now that we have that opened up, we'll flip the bird around and you can find the wishbone right there and you just put your knife along the inside of the wishbone and just slowly peel the flesh away from the bird. And then right down through that joint, the flesh comes away and you kind of cut off this excess skin and we have our first airline breast set. Apart. Same thing on the other side. So we find that sternum. Knife blade, nice long cut, moves everything off to the side. You don't have to spin the chicken necessarily as long as you can find that wishbone and kind of cut straight down through there. You separate all that and we get down to the bottom and you can see where that joint is, right where the wishbone comes down. You'll go right through that joint. You're not cutting through bone, you're cutting right through a joint. So it makes it nice and easy. And again, separate it from the rest of the flesh and chicken breast. Chicken thigh, chicken carcass. With that carcass, we'll toss that into our pot and we'll make chicken stock here shortly. Separate the thighs. We have a nice open space. As you can see where we pushed on the back before, the bone, the femur, the leg is already coming out of the joint there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the knife, put it right at the ball of that joint at an angle, cut straight down. And again, you're going literally right through a joint and cutting a bone. So here's our joint and we're gonna go right through there. Nice and easy. Knife straight through, thigh, and a leg. Now, to separate the leg from the thigh, it's really cool, like, chickens are almost a map and ready to be cut. So, as you can see, you can see this line of fat right here. That line also runs right along that joint right there. We cut right through. We're going straight through that joint. As you can see, no bone, just straight through a joint. Now we have a thigh and a leg ready to go. Again, we find so that. Now, I know that everybody likes their boneless, skinless thighs. So the skin is on top of the thigh. That's real easy. You can just take that right off. Now you have a skinless bone in thigh. Now to take the bone out, you're literally just gonna take the tip of the knife, go right along that bone there and cut along either side. This might be a little bit advanced for some folks, but it's pretty easy. You can take your time doing it. There's no rush. Going to stock, boneless, skinless chicken. The flesh kind of separated from either side. Now you can kind of just stick your fingers right along and pull that bone right out. And as you can see, there's a little bit of flesh on there, but not a whole lot. Again, bones cut right through that joint. Separate it, second breast, sternum, wishbone, straight down through that joint, separate it, thighs, through the joint, through the joint, carcass to our pot, find that fat line, straight through, oh. and this is what happens when you miss the fat line. And he goes straight through. 
And that's it. So now we'll take our second chicken. Again, I'm gonna make my first cuts. I'm gonna pop the legs out. I'm gonna find that sternum. Go straight down, spin it, find the right. wishbone. So once we have those chickens broken apart, then real simple, wash your hands, open up your Ziploc bags, and I separate them and dress all together and then legs and thighs all together. Look, now you can put these in the fridge, use them right away, or you can pull the air out and freeze them for later use. So if you have any questions about anything that we did today um, or any other questions, you could take a look at my profile and look at the highlights. There's a whole bunch of different cooking things that we've done so far. Uh, if there's anything that you would love to see that we haven't done yet, message, I'd be happy to walk through any kind of questions or instruction that you'd be looking for as far as cooking at home. Uh, as you can see, we're cooking here out of our apartment. Uh, so anything that we do here is something that we y'all can do at home. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for tuning in. All the best and happy cooking.